go, dog. You know what it is? Uh-uh. <clears throat> water in the crowd. Look, I put in 50 applications. Still can't get no work. But homie on the boulevard, he said he got that work. And shorty said, come over, talking about she got that work. Huh. Man, I'm thinking about it, but that ain't gonna work hard time. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the critically acclaimed Vince Tucker Radio Show, streaming live on Fishbowl Radio Network, VincentTuckerRadioShow.com. This is Heartbreak Tucker. Miss Kina. Your boy Yellow starting to build. King of Chaos, comedian Safe Runs. Yes, uh, my main man Ramon is in the building. Uh, Kemp from uh, Free Speaker Radio, 11 to 1. Talk about what's in here with us as well. And, um, you know, uh, you know, next to my right, right, I just got starstruck real quick. I just had to catch my breath. Oh, wow. <laughs> to, to my right of me, a deep breath. He's a living legend. I'm going to tell you why he's a living legend. Because everybody wants to be like him and he's still alive. Um. <laughs> Our next guest is doing a live DVD oh, taping man. tonight at the Jesse Theater in Dallas, Texas. He's been all over HBO, Showtime, Stars, BET, Comedy Central. You've seen him in such films as House Party, Strictly Business, and my personal favorite, Poetic Justice, plus the appearances on ER, NYPD Blue, and us 80s babies, though. We know him best as the host of Russell Simmons' Deaf Comedy Jam. Ladies and gentlemen, put your left hand with your right for comedian Joe Torrey! All right. All right. Are you all ready for the next comedian? Okay. <laughs> Is he funny? Uh, he got it. Of course. Of course. Did the head and everything. Yeah. 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 Let's, 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 let's get to know the the man, the myth, the legend. Okay. So what was your childhood like? Uh, I I think I, I recently found out that you were a military brat. I don't think a lot of people know that. So what was your childhood like coming up? Uh, I mean, you know, uh, you mixing all the different cultures. You know, growing up, I was born in Virginia, uh, Newport News, Virginia, on Army base. And then, uh, you know, so living that base life for a minute. Then I moved to uh, South Carolina. We were in uh, Seaside, California, Fort Ord. Uh, then uh, St. Louis. So, well, I moved to New York from, from Seaside, California. And then, then St. Louis is where I hail from. That's where I claim to be from. All right. But I mean, you know, growing up, five brothers and sisters, man. You know, you, you know, being the new kid in different neighborhoods, and you know, with the army haircuts and the different clothes. You know, for a while, that you know, that that uh, that kind of played against us for a minute. Like, especially when I went from Seaside, California, dressed like a little Mexican. <laughs> Jamaica, Queens, New York. <laughs> Getting the Mexicans confused with Puerto Ricans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. you never do that. Never. No. Yeah. I was scrapping the first day. Yep. You know, <laughs> you know, hey, whatever. They, I had my little cowboy hat and boots on. And, and, and I don't look like no Tim's dog. <laughs> so, what made you get in the company? Because you got in this game at an early age, like 23, huh? Uh, I don't know how. I think right after I finished college, I've been doing comedy, trying to do comedy since I was a kid. You know. You know talent shows, you know, Truth of Dare, uh, you know, and that thing, you try to be funny with the kids and situations, uh, you know, uh, uh, just, you know, anything around the neighborhood, man, like Boy Scouts, I did, you, 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 anytime it was trying to get on stage and try to do some comedy or something, or, because I'm a musician as well, I play drums, uh -huh. so, uh, so just anything to get on stage, and I, I always thought I was, you know, I was kind of funny, uh, <laughs> but then, you know, you, you get to, you know, when I start bouncing around different neighborhoods or different, uh, should I say, cities, you know, I picked up a lot of cultural, just should I say awareness. Yeah. So when I go to another city, I would have like different jokes or different things about different people because I was a new kid from a different different place. But I was always trying to get back to LA or, or to California to be a comedian. And uh, you know, so I, I knew that after I finished college, because I, I went to college on a football wrestling scholarship. Uh, uh, shout uh, out to me. Right, University of HBC in Jefferson City, Missouri. And that's where I really honed the skills at. That's when you would test it. St. Louis to me, it's like that's the that's the place where you Man, if you if you do you they joke they do nothing but throw hots, which yeah. is known yeah. crack yeah. jokes all day. Everybody. I mean, nobody has to be a really comedian. The preacher, the bus driver, the yeah, mailman. Yep. It's just on like that. So I was the best at just cracking jokes, throwing hots. <laughs> so I just kinda turned that into uh into the material as I got to LA and after I finished college I went to work for a year. Uh, saved my money, worked at UPS, uh, Bristol Myers, which is now Bristol Myers Squib right by now and uh, when I man saved my money, tried to play for the Raiders. You know, that didn't happen. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> so my, my mass communication journalism broadcasting degree, you know, was always, always in effect as well. I did TV radio most of And uh, man, I just was trying to do everything until yeah. I, I hit. And you know, it, just, it just took off, man, after LA. Oh. Met the late great Robin Harris. Man. And, man. you know, he, he, uh, he took me from there. Oh, wow. You know, being my age, I'm probably not supposed to know much about Robin Harris, but I actually came across Robin Harris at an early age, and I've always tried to get to find as much material as I can on Robin Harris. Can you tell me, you know, what was it like for you meeting Robin Harris and what kind of man he was? 
Uh, oh, he's a fat man. <laughs> black man. <laughs> <laughs> Get that out the way. Back funny black man. <laughs> <laughs> no, Robin was cool, man. Robin, I mean, you know, Robin had his, his uh, everybody had their own little, uh, should I say, their own little personal uh, uh, issues. Uh-huh. You know, with, with him, he just, you know, Robin didn't take no crap from nobody. You know what I'm saying? He was, he's, he's like me, quick temper, you know, just like he was on stage, quick witted, quick temper. But off stage, I mean, a, a real kind and a uh, given person. I mean, he didn't know me from Adam. Um, but we just kind of, you know, he, he, he liked us from St. Louis, he liked my style, and he sort of took me in and he kind of talked to the ropes in, in, uh, in L.A. How to do the stage, just took me around. Ronaldo Reagan, Ronaldo Reagan used to take me. They used to put me up on stage and heckle me. Oh, wow. <laughs> Serious? You know, I mean, but they would, if I could take it from them, I yeah. could take it from anybody. anybody right? one, of, one of the biggest lessons I used to learn was getting out of the way of me, which is learning the law of the land, which is don't talk about gays, don't talk about Jews. Yeah. <laughs> you, know? yeah. you can go far right. with that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you don't know that. I mean, because when you, you know, when you're taught, you know, as a, as any man, to be the, you know, be the strong one, you know, in, out of the family, on the block, in the village, you know, be the strong, be the smartest. So you, when you go, you know, you go out to uh, wherever you're going, you represent well, you know, you want to, you know, hey, I got talent. But in Los Angeles, it's not like that. You know, a strong black man is, is you know, with no vulnerability is, is intimidating. So you know, <laughs> so you gotta learn how. To, yeah, because in our in our craft, in our business, it's you know, it's it's ran by you know a lot of eccentric gays and, and, and Jews who are great writers, and they've been doing this stuff for years. So that Bravo and Macho stuff coming in there, you know, everybody's more sort of artist than they are, or should I say, uh, on the block. <laughs> so yeah, so you have to learn, the biggest lesson is to learn to, learn to work your environment, learn to work your craft, you can't have, that's why you see all the black backlash now when people say something wrong, but, you know, glad is very, very powerful. Oh yeah, they are, they are. Yeah, they are, they are. They are. I mean, for real, you see, they came and got, Tracy Morgan Morgan, before Child Services did. (laughs) (laughs) So I'm like, yo. So uh, so that's one of the biggest lessons I learned, man. Remove remove yourself from the problem. You know what I'm saying? The biggest problem you ever have every day is yourself. (laughs) (laughs) You're in the middle because that's the only place you're going to fit. No, okay. No, no, no. I can fit somewhere else. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you see all eyes with the joke like, like, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. This is what we've been waiting for. You may not even work at it. Fit somewhere else. All right, dog, real quick. Let's play the word association game. I'm gonna say a name. Just tell me, the, you know, best the best word that describes them. Richard Pryor. Legend. Robin Harris. Teacher. Tupac. My dude. Janet Jackson. Fine as hell. <laughs> Martin Lawrence. Funny, funny, funny. Def Comedy Jam. Life Changes. Guy Tori. Funky Rabbit. Who's uh, stealing all my jokes and making a living off of my plane. That's a little brother. <laughs> What's going on, people? Jermaine, man. Vincent Heartbreak Tucker, Behind the Scenes, Young Heartbreak TV, Urban Advocate TV. Uh, I'm here with legendary comedian Joe Torrey. Why you got this bright light on us? Are we we not that dark? Is it me? Is it, am I that dark? Am I yeah. the dark the dark hat, the dark shirt, the, the dirty mustache? Oh! <laughs> I say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, tonight, no. <laughs> tonight laugh in your face, live DVD tape will take place, 1925, Elm Street, Majestic Theater. Tell people what they can expect tonight. Man, expect greatness. Expect to make history. A million laughs in one night. I think it's going to be more than a million. Legendary comics, Joe Torrey. Man, I'm jumping off stage, butt naked at the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's when all the dudes leave. Right? That's why you zip a jumping. That's right. <laughs> you getting your routine ready. Get my routine ready. See how much money I got. Oh, they call him Messina. Messina. You know what it is. It's your girl, Miss Kina, hanging out with Joe Tory. Thank you for the pleasure. Oh. You smell yes. good? <laughs> I'm supposed to smell They all say that. <laughs> yes, she smells good today. Oh, <laughs> please support your boy, Joe Tory. He's a good people. That is. Follow him on Twitter, <laughs> at Joe Tory1. Vincent Heartbreak Tucker, Young Heartbreak TV, Urban Advocate. See y'all next time. Just work. Look, I put in 50 applications. Still can't get no work. But homie on the boulevard, he said he got that work. And shorty said, come over, talking about she got that work. Huh. Man, I'm thinking about it, but that ain't going.